While the factions that comprise X Defiant's roster of characters each bring different abilities and ultras to the table, it's the tools they use to get the job done that truly define how the game is played. In this video, we'll be looking at attachments and how they can make a huge impact in your games. On the surface, attachments are fairly straightforward. They're add-ons to your weapons, with each choice positively or negatively affecting your stats. There are seven different groups of attachments. Muzzles, barrels, front rails, optics, magazines, grips, and stocks. While we won't be going into detail on each of these, what you need to know is that each group has several different options with unique effects on your stats. Before we dive into our first build example, you should know that not all weapons and attachments mentioned will be immediately available to you. You'll be able to unlock both by completing challenges and leveling up weapons respectively. With that said, let's define the kind of playstyle we're looking for with our first build. Before we dive into our first build example, let's define the kind of playstyle we're looking for. I want to play light and fast, overwhelming people with quick run and gun strategy. Sounds like we're going to want something close to medium range with a fast fire rate. So let's try the Vector. To achieve our goal of being light and fast, we're looking for attachments that will improve our movement speed. Let's set our Vector up with a lightweight barrel, a super light front grip for the front rail, and a folded stock. Then let's take advantage of that high fire rate and outfit our gun with an extended magazine. Comparing it to an unmodified Vector, we can plainly see we are moving much faster. Let's optimize another way to play. The last thing I want to worry about while sniping is the stability of my scope. Unlike our vector, we won't need to worry about damage drop off when using a sniper. So we're gonna outfit it with a muzzle booster to give a much needed boost to the gun's lower rate of fire. Let's also maximize our damage by applying a heavyweight barrel. Next, let's give it some stability by putting on a reinforced stock. For our optics, I want to widen my use case for this weapon, so I'm going with a variable scope. Finally, we're going to add some additional stability to our weapon by putting a fabric rear grip on. Comparing it to an unmodified TAC-50, we can see a lot of great improvement to the overall stability of the weapon as we're aiming and firing. Additionally, we're getting the most out of our damage, thanks to our heavyweight barrel and muzzle booster. Finally, let's go all out for our last build. I want to fire my gun as long as I can, as often as I can, and as stably as I can. Enemies should second guess their route the moment they realize I'm firing. Well, we're gonna need an LMG, so let's try the M60. First, we'll outfit it with a rapid fire barrel to maximize our fire rate. Then we'll put grip tape for our grip to help minimize our recoil. And you know what? Let's further improve that fire rate by throwing on a muzzle booster. LMGs are known for taking a very long time to reload, so let's minimize the reload time by outfitting it with a fast magazine. Finally, for our optics, we'll take a comfortable mid-range scope like the reflex sight. Versus our unmodified M60, we can already see a dramatic improvement with our stability and raw output. We can comfortably and consistently aim and keep the pressure on our target at close to medium range with minimal downtime thanks to our severely shortened reload times. These three examples are purely templates you can work off of. There are a vast number of possibilities available to you through the customization of your weapon attachments, each to fit the playstyle you want to achieve. Try your hand at building your own and share it with us on Twitter by tagging at PlayXDefiant or sharing it with others in our official Discord server. 